Hi, my name is Reggio Barroza. Uh, I'm working from home. The demonstration that I'm going to do here is mobilize on a mainframe application. And uh, I'm going to go to four different steps here. Uh, I'm not going to do the vision to DB2. But basically, the uh, application, uh, it's a CACS application. First, uh, the developer is using a rational developer for system Z. Uh, he has a uh, perspective, uh, perspective named work items. And he has a uh, message. Uh, in fact, he received an uh, email that says you have to uh, mobilize the application. Uh, he can see uh, more information. Uh, you have here the link that uh, shows uh, what's the application that he has to to change. So it's a CICS application. So basically, uh, he he goes and uh, look to the application and uh, start working. So let's uh, say start to working, and uh, I tend to do that in 20 minutes. Uh, probably less uh, and uh, I'm gonna say this is my my current work item so I can close this guy uh, I can go and check my application and that's the application it's a CICS application if I type some data here uh, I get some some uh, list of items if I want to order this item I can make the order here, uh, is a name, and that's the department, and says order place. So basically the idea is moving from this uh, green screen to an, uh, a nice uh, iPhone application, something like that. Uh, this is the uh, iPhone uh, emulation. I just go, uh, instead of doing this, uh, just browse, and uh, it's much easier to, to navigate here. You can move around, and uh, I want to, do an, uh, to, to buy something like I did, I select here the, the amount, and add to the chart, and that's my, my checkout, and this is the checkout. Uh, as well, I can do uh, more stuff, like I can do a search like that, what makes things better, and uh, it's more interesting than the, the old iPhone. Uh, and uh, later on, also going to see more details, I can use the camera to capture a picture, and things like that. So let's see uh, how to do that. So let's go back to the sequence of work. First, uh, I did already. I recognized the work to be done. Now I'm going to use RDZ to create, deploy, and install the web service using a uh, uh, rough develop and test as a server. The way that uh, I do here, let me go to the RDZ. Um, first, I can load my application. Uh, I can uh, I can load from the RTC. I just want to load the piece of the application, not everything. Uh, I'm gonna load here. So I did load. I go to here, I see the, the code that I loaded, and this is the COBOL application that I'm going to do the transformation. Uh, this is my uh, linkage area, and th those are the containers. In fact, I'm using containers here. And those are the input and output uh, data. That is a cop book. This is the item number. It goes in, and this is the the request, the item description that goes out. So the input message is this one. This is the output message, the output, uh, the request. Uh, 
the easiest way is using a web service and uh, the way that I create the web service is using this project then I import the data then I go to the dialog here in this case I'm, I'm really deployed the web service the dialog is gonna prompt you with areas you'd like to work with so my uh, container input request is the work item that's defined in the COBOL the response is the uh, item uh, definitions uh, this is the stock, the cost, blah blah say next uh, here I have the IP address of my mainframe so let's be sure that I can ping my mainframe that's my mainframe and this is the port number that is listening to they say next don't have to worry about the capabilities and uh, I'm deploy on this CICS pi pipeline I'm gonna copy the bind and generate the manifest file to install the pipeline now is is generate the code and I have here the, the WS bind has been create you have the here the the wisdom this is the uh, server that's the input request output request and I have the manifest file that I can do the install say install installation is complete so there is no errors on the install so I can do the test using a web service say test using test client and that's gonna uh, open the the web test client uh, let's take the one that's more simple it's different web service I'm gonna use this one here that's simpler I can use the other one is it's more complex web service in this case is a very simple one but this is the input operation suppose I type the uh, 0020 chan, 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 chan. then I get the data that is written and this is the item number 20 I can see the soap envelope input request and this is the output request so web service is created uh, ready to be deployed something uh, goes wrong how to, can you fix that and that's what I like to show here if something goes wrong I like to use the debugger uh, and then uh, I can test what is wrong so let's go and uh, start the debugger go back to my RDZ just want to see the the name of the program here that's the name of the program so I'll go to my kicks uh, explorer I go to this program here this is the program that I like to debugger in order to do the uh, debug uh, I just select the program to be debug say create a uh, create a debug configuration and that enables the debug on the Z uh, I don't need to specify the user since this is a web service there is no user associated so if I go to my uh, enterprise service uh, perspective but I have my my wisdom I just test again and uh, I can specify uh, the item that I like to, to test 0020 and I say click chan 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 if things work fine I get the debugger and uh, I have this uh, debug console 
I can do uh, some commands here. Uh, like I can make a log on all execution and things show here which lines I'm e being executed. So basically, uh, I have breakpoints. There's a bunch of breakpoints here. If I run until I got a breakpoint, uh, I got another breakpoint here. Uh, I can run until I got another breakpoint. And uh, that's the debugger in action. So basically, uh, that's the, the simple uh, debugger in action. Uh, if I want to the create the client page now, I go to my sequence. Uh, the next step is, is clean the client. So this is the work light creation. And um, and that's what I'm gonna do now right now. So this is the uh, work light. Uh, in fact, uh, I could pass the work to this other user. Uh, I can go to my work item, and uh, I can say, "Okay, this is complete. Complete." Now create the smart phone piece. Uh, this is is complete, and I can assign that to other user. Uh, right now I'm zero six. Uh, let's assign that to the to Pete zero eight, and then. Uh, I can give some uh, information uh, to him. If I want to make a nice screen capture, I can just uh, take the the price service. Uh, let's say take this service here, and and I can I can give some kind of information to him. Let's say let's skip this formation to to this person. Okay. Then uh, I say save, and I'm not working with that anymore. So I just can close. Now I go to work light. Uh, in the work light. Uh, I have connection. In fact, I uh, could be uh, other workstation, and I go to see my work, and that's my work. It says you have something to do. There is one attachment. Ah, that's a web service. Okay, good. So I'm gonna start to work on that, and uh, I I'm gonna finish that in. Let's say 10 minutes. Save. So everybody that is a subscriber can subscribe people here. Uh, they, they can get information for that. In this case, there is nobody subscribed. So that uh, I'm going to start to work with this guy. In fact, uh, the best spreads is starting working, and uh, I go to my team, my repository. I can load my code. Uh, I just load the, the code that uh, I'm interested on, and uh, then I start to work. In this case, I have already the, the code loaded. I don't have time to start from the scratch. Uh, those are the adapters. The way that you make adapter, you say work light adapter. Then you have the different adapters. In this case, I'm using the HTTP adapter. I could use other different adapters. 
So uh, one of the, in fact, I have three, not one, three web services. I just showed one, and uh, you see here, this is the IP address of my ZOS. As you you remember, uh, I'm pinging to this ZOS here. That's my RDT, and this is the port number. So that's the adapter number one. I have another adapter here. Adapter number two. That's uh, and finally I have the the one that placed the order. And that's the adapter number three. So three adapters to run those applications. Then you create the application. The application has uh, parts that are common. And this is the parts that are common, and there is parts that are specific for the for the device. And the way that you do the application, uh, in this case, I'm using a hybrid application. And then uh, you have the different uh, kinds of uh, uh, device that you like to work with. And you see here the different device that you can work here. When you go to the environment, you you specify the different device that like to work. In this case, I have iPhone, iPad, Android. Okay, I could do for other device here, including desktop and web. So uh, that's how uh, you do the application. In order to run, uh, what you do is. In this case, suppose uh, I'm going to run on the iPhone. You right click and say uh, run as. You can use the preview. And that that uh, starts the, the iPhone. It's going to take uh, a little bit. Here starts the uh, emulation. And that uh, is the browse uh, catalog. And remember, the debugger is still on. So if I if I do an inquiry like that, I'm st still not using the web service that I'm debugging. But as soon as I I add something to the stock, like this guy here, pom 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 pom. If I have the debugger working, uh, I should get the the item being a uh, debug here okay and that's uh, that completes my demo and uh, again what I did is uh, basically uh, I create the RTC I create the RDZ and uh, the way that I did is using web service and uh, and that is the, the whole demo. I'm using the RDNT here. That was my server and that's my client. And uh, we use uh, the way that uh, we did is existing application. We create the web service, three web services. Then we create the work light front end. And uh, we did the test. Thank you.